Welcome to African Gardening. This morning, I want to show you the best time to collect pollens. A whole lot of people have learned about hand pollination of sarsaf flowers. Some have learned from my videos. Some have learned from other videos uh, on YouTube. But I can tell you, my own video has the complete information. So if you're watching this video and you have not watched my video on hand pollination of sarsaf, please do so and you can find uh, the link in the description as well as towards the end of this video. So for those that have learned about hand pollination, one of the things that people miss out is the timing to collect pollens. If you do not get this timing right, you will not succeed in your hand pollination. So what I mean is, there's a particular time by which you must collect your pollens and there's a particular time by at which time you need to apply those pollens. So let's start with the collection of pollens because that is the first thing you do before you hand pollinate. The sarsop flower releases its pollens in the night. It doesn't release pollens during the day. So the pollens are released between 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. till midnight. Of course, it is in the cool hours of the day, so it's not hot. So the pollens will still be fresh by the next morning. So it means you need to collect your pollens first thing early in the morning. If you do not collect those pollens, the pollens will dry up by the time it's afternoon and they lose their viability. So in the course of this video, I'm going to show you the difference between collecting pollens in the morning and collecting pollens in the afternoon. It's morning out here, so I'm going to collect these pollens and you will see that the pollens are fresh. You'll find out that they're still on the brush. When you collect the pollens in the afternoon, what you notice is that you have less pollens on that brush because why? All the other pollens, they have dried up. They have dried up. Also, you can watch my other video about uh, the difference between the pollens and the pollen tubes because a whole lot of people they see the pollen tubes as the pollens no the pollens are the fine grain like objects they are yellow in color they're not brown they are always yellow in color Co let's go and collect the pollens right now one of the first things you're going to do uh, is to check the ground for poll for, for the petals you check the ground for petals because any flower that has released pollens it will re release the petals will fall off. So that's an easy way for you to locate where the pollens are. So I've seen petals here. So the next thing to do is to come up. Let's come up and come up. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Aha. Aha. That's it. Yes. So this is the flower with the pollens, let's make it brighter, all right, so this is the flower with the pollens right now, so, so at this stage, this sarsop flower is in the male stage, so look at it, this is in the morning and you can see that uh, the pollens are fresh, you can see them, if you come closer, look at them, they're quite fresh, you can see them, they're fresh, can see they're all yellow uh, the pollen tubes are the darker color but uh, it's all fresh by the time we put the brush uh, you'll be able to see better all right so we're looking at the pollens you can see the pollens on that flower you can see my brush so there are no pollens so let's start to collect the pollens now and you watch what happens So you can see already, the brush is covered with pollens. Look at that. So the brush is covered with pollens already. So let's look at the brush. Can you see? Can you see the pollens? 
through the brush. So now dip the pollens, dip, put the brush on the pollens inside there. Yeah, so let's see. See more of the pollens now. Can you see? So you can see that the pollens are viable. Look at that. You can see? Let's turn the brush around. See, lots of pollens. Why? Because we are taking the pollens in the morning and we're not taking it in the afternoon. So these pollens are extremely viable. Uh, you can either store them in this container, keep it in a, a, a cool place or a shaded place for a day, or you put them in the refrigerator and they're still viable for uh, two, a period of about uh, two weeks. So that's it. We're taking this pollen in the afternoon. Uh, just to show you that if you take pollens in the afternoon, uh, your hand pollination will not succeed. Pollens must be taken in the morning when they are fresh. By the afternoon, the pollens are already dried and they are not viable. Of course, they are dried because of a hot weather. So you can see now the pollen tubes, they are dried up. I can't even see any pollens. We're going to rub, uh, let's rub the brush and see, okay? Let's rub the brush. See? You're rubbing the brush. You can see it's only the pollen tubes we're seeing. We can't see any pollen. Uh, if you check the other video of pollens taken in the morning, you see there are lots and lots of pollens. So the pollens are dried up. So I think a whole lot of people doing hand pollination and saying it doesn't succeed. Uh, the problem is that uh, they are taking pollens in the afternoon. So the rule is, if you want to succeed with hand pollination, pollens must be taken in the morning, early in the morning, and you must pollinate immediately in the morning. If you pollinate in the evening or afternoon, it's the same thing. So you can only do hand pollination in the early hours of the morning. I will say I'll put off a cutoff point of about 10 o'clock in the morning uh, before uh, the weather gets pretty hot. So you can see the brush now. See the brush? There are no pollens on that brush. Let me focus on the brush. See? Turn it. Turn the brush. See? Just the pollens, very small. And they are dried up, they are not fresh. They are not fresh. So you can see the brush. Uh, very small pollens. So you won't succeed here. But of course, people might mistake the pollens for the pollen tubes. So let me show you the pollen tubes now. I'll show you the pollen tubes now. Uh, just slight pollens, which is not, they're no more viable because we're taking this uh, in the late afternoon. So the same thing happens if we take in the early afternoon as well or the evening. So pollens must be taken in the morning if you want to succeed in ant pollination. So let me show you the pollen tubes. So you can see you got the pollen tubes. So these pollen tubes, those are the brown objects. Those are not pollens. Uh, the pollens are attached to pollen tubes. But in this case, you know, you can't find much pollens. They're already dried up. They're already dried up. When you see, uh, by the time you look at the video of the pollen that was taken early in the morning, you see lots of pollens on the brush. You will even see pollens attached to the pollen tubes. Here, we're not saying that. Just little pollens, and I can tell you they are dried up. And these pollens, you can't use them anymore. You can't use them. They're already, they're no more viable. So do not take pollens in the afternoon. Only take pollens in the morning and apply your pollens in the morning. Thank you. So just like you've seen in this video, the best time to collect your pollens is in the morning before 10 a.m. And the best time to pollinate a female flower it's in the morning as well. So let me just make a summary of the reasons why you need to collect your pollens in the morning and pollinate in the morning as well. So for the pollens, they are extremely viable in the morning. As the temperature of the, of, uh, increases, that means the weather becomes hotter, the pollens lose viability and they dry up. So which means if you come in the afternoon to collect your pollens, that pollination will fail. Because why? The pollens, they're already dried up by the heat. I've seen a whole lot of people 
they've been claiming, oh, we, hand, we did hand pollination, we got poor results. So the reason why you are having poor results is simply because you are not collecting your pollens at the right time. I hope this video uh, is very useful to uh, anybody that's growing uh, the sarsop tree. And you can look at my other videos on the sarsop tree as well. There's a whole lot of interesting uh, uh, topics uh, regarding the sarsop tree, especially uh, regarding uh, hand pollination and uh, the pollination of sarsop trees. Thank you very much for your time. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.